This is a brief video to show you how to create a discussion thread and how to reply to a previous thread. So I'm going to go ahead and open up one of our question and answer forums here in Blackboard. And you'll see that I've already got a thread started here, social networking. This will be one of the blog posts that you'll complete this semester. Um, what I would like to do first, though, is show you how to create your own thread. So let's say you enter a discussion forum and it's blank, or it's not the type of forum where you reply to a post that I've made, but rather where you create your own thread with your own argument. Um, and that's actually going to be the case for most of our discussion forums. When that is the case, you simply come up to Create Thread, click it, and type in the name of your thread. So I'm going to call this My Fantastic Ideas. Even more of My Fantastic Ideas. So once you have your title, and you know, I actually always put your name in the title just to help clarify who's writing what. Okay, once you've got your title and your content ready to go, decide if you need to attach any files. If so, you click here. Otherwise, um, you can click Submit. If you're not ready to submit and you want to keep tinkering with it, click Save Draft. Um, for most of the discussion forum assignments, once you click Submit, you will not be able to edit your assignment. So um, the Save Draft is a good option. Uh, so click Submit. And you'll see now there are two threads where before there were only there was only one. Now, in the instance of the blog post for this class, when you need to reply to a thread that already exists, click on the name of the thread. So here, blog post one, social networking. And you'll see it looks different. So there's this large gray text box that has uh, the information from the first post in that thread. And then what you will do is create the next post in that thread. The easiest way to do this is to go to the original post, which would be my post with the blog instructions, and click the blue reply button. Once you do that, it opens up a text box very similar to the one that you saw when we created our own thread. Um, here you might just put your name at the beginning and leave the rest of the title the same. So many things to say. And again, you can save a draft, you can submit, you can decide if you need to attach anything. Um, and once you're ready, go ahead and click submit. And then there is this mysterious little OK button down at the bottom right of most Blackboard screens, and that will take you back to the previous screen. Um, and so now you can see all of the threads for this forum, and you can see that there are now two posts in the Blog One social networking. And that's how you create a thread or create a reply to a pre-existing thread in the discussions area of Blackboard.